Okay, guys, here's the wheels for the black Mustang. And uh, I want you guys to see the size. This is the back tire. It's wider than the front. So this is the front. I'm on a 215, 40, 17. And this is the back 245, 40, 17. So, so wider tire on purpose. Um, the other ones are over here. the wheels the last two wheels i never got them mounted yet but by these being a taller rim i don't have to possibly worry about them rubbing or damaging that header so i probably would have got away with that the other ones are a better header to me so we're gonna get them cleaned up and try to get them installed uh before we move the black out the garage since i, I want to do it now since i'm going to make that change we're going to do that and uh also uh, hey, there's a carpet for the black car the window windshield for the black car brand new windshield brand new carpet okay. and um yeah I gotta, I gotta push i gotta really push guys so i'm gonna be kicking out a lot of videos but yeah i want to show you guys why the tire in the back um but they are 17 inch wheels and tires so um i wasn't worried about the header getting damaged underneath that car but um, the other ones are a better header to me, so we're going to go with those. I'm using this very powerful uh, degreaser. This is not what it is. This is just a spray bottle. This stuff I got is extremely powerful and concentrated. Just put it on here. You get all these. All this surface dirt off. keep cold them let it sit on there for a little bit this stuff is very powerful and it's strong so i got a mask on while spraying it Gonna let it sit for a while spraying down letting it soak getting all that grease off these headers so we can prep them up paint them and get them installed pressure washer ready uh, we also be starting this thing up uh, in a couple of days as well. So that video coming on too. I've already started. I've already rewired the harness and everything. So uh, we'll be getting this going in a minute. But uh, just trying to get the black car out the garage. So uh, we're going to just get aggressive with everything. Found a flaw with the headers. The only flaw I see is here. I gotta fix that. So we're gonna weld this right now. We're gonna fix this and remove uh, these flange bolts and move these bolts as well. So before we can do anything, uh, we're gonna remove these bolts. We're gonna fix this, move these bolts. So we're gonna let these dry out. Let me turn them over. Hit them one more time. We're gonna let them dry out. So guys, I wanna show you guys something too. While these drying out. This was removed from the black car when I first bought it. These are the headers on. The other one was gone bad. This is not that bad. Got a little damage there, but look at how it's made compared to these. Um, same kind of shape as that one. Same shape, but look at this is made. You don't have that, uh, it's not connected together. They're separate individual 
the headers goes on the individual opposed to having this bracket these headers sit in. So I thought that was kind of rather strange a little bit. If you guys know or have seen this design header, let me know. Because this is the same header that was on the black Mustang when I got it. So these are the one I prepped up and painted. These are gonna, I was gonna use for the white Mustang, but um, probably gonna get rid of these. Got some dent that's been fixed, but I've been painting them well. The coat is gonna hold on perfectly. So um, they're okay. I'm use the headman headers. Uh, the other ones I'm gonna use the ones off the black Mustang. The new ones for the white Mustang. So I'll get rid of these. Got one broken bolt at all of them. I'm not reusing these, I'll just buy some new ones. But I'll just keep them for some extra bolts uh, in case I need them for something. Get some nice little clamp, and let's get the welder set up, and let's turn up. Look, guys, I'm almost out of everything. Oh man, look at that! Hopefully, we got enough to make it. But got a giant spool on deck. So here's a regular size spool. It fits right on here. And with the larger spools, you need this adapter. Fits on like that.
get it fed through. So now we can uh, turn the power on. Let's turn the wire speed up a little bit. Let's take this tip off. Not as bad. Take that off. Feel it. All right. All good now. Get fire. Good. So let me uh, we're good on wire now, guys. Should I get some gas now? Gotta get some gas. Guys, we're done with this. So, gotta clean up some. Not that bad. So, it started here. So, we got this done. That's uh, that's a pain. Okay, guys, I thought I had the camera recording, but I'll, we'll do it for the next one. It's okay. We're gonna put a couple coats of the flat uh, this flat high heat uh, enamel just a couple coats of this and then we're gonna coat it uh, final couple coats with the we'll do a final coat with the high heat with the gloss to it with a, like a semi gloss to it uh, and a texture to it really looks nice Kept similar to that on the, on the grill there but this leaves like a flat uh, black paint uh, enamel on the header and it covers really well, so we're gonna we're gonna mount the camera and, and we'll do this one. Okay, we're gonna let this one dry. Then we go with another one more coat. And you see this stuff dries up pretty fast. With that. So we'll do one more coat of this one. And then we'll do a final coat with this one. So this is about seven bucks. This is about 12 bucks. Okay, second coat done. Gonna dry out. Okay, this one's just about dried up. Put the second coat on this one, and then we um put the final coat. I'm trying to save some battery life and camera time, uh, but I'll film the final spray, the final coat. 
Trying up. See a second coat. Second coat look amazing. This one's trying out. Moves over in the sun, sun. So we're gonna let these sit up for about an hour and then we're gonna put the final coat on them. You can leave them like this if you want to guys, with just this, but I just want the other coat um, for extra protection and um, just a, a look. it as you can see this has a texture to it as well so it's a texture into that these gonna look really good when they dry and we're done yeah so here's the wire tires I use to hang the headers up they're dotted 99 cent a piece that uh, Hopper Freight. These are really good to have. A couple packages of them. So, um, I'll be removing those headers. Uh, I got the motor mounts already out the engine. So we're gonna take, we're gonna lift the engine up and push the other ones up to the bottom. So we're gonna take these off. I already got the uh, one piece off here, right here that goes. Um, underneath the frames. I've read quite a few things online about people complaining about this getting smashed up because it rides underneath um, the frame, like a poor design. So it rides underneath the frame and also just drain the oil too. I drain the oil out of here. So it rides underneath the frame. You guys can see it goes in right there. So I'm um, gonna get rid of that. Uh, I bought these brand new. Just saw them on the car. Um, here's the hardware for them. This is the hardware. So, and there's the Flowmasters for the black mustang so we'll be um i'm getting everything ready and put the new headers on when they dry out and then i'll, I'll got the new spark plugs came the spark plugs came um, but i'll be putting everything back together and um I'm making this thing look nice so i'm uh, removing those headers and we're gonna go with the others and they should look good and fit with my scheme. So, um, I'll be doing that tomorrow, putting them on. And I'm touching up with something else I'll show you guys too uh, before we pull this out. So, might as well at least get this running before we pull it out of here. Just start it and let it smoke out because it's going to do some smoking. So, um, that's all I want to share with you guys today. Next video... Um, I, the headers will be installed, and I want to show you guys something that I'm doing to the back of this vehicle. Um, something that was bothering me, that's been bothering me. I've been hiding away from you guys, but it's been bothering me. And I just decided to uh, do it the right way. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. The next video, then um, I'll be starting the Yellow Mustang. That's another video coming. I got a couple buys of the week coming, so stay tuned for all these videos just about to drop. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm changing these out. In my 30 minutes, they're drying good. Drying good. Drying good.